Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool glow outline effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the glow outline looks like right here. Now, the glow outline is paired um, with a sliding freeze frame right here, and that's basically it. I'm going to go over basically how not to, not to create the sliding freeze frame, but I'm going to go over how to actually create this really cool glowing outline in Final Cut Pro, you've probably seen this effect a lot in like YouTube thumbnails um, because it's most co commonly used um, in Photoshop. Now let's head over here to the example right here and we'll go ahead and play it and basically show you what it looks like um, without the glow effect right here. As you can see, it's just a generic um, freeze frame right here. So let's go ahead and play it right here and it's just basically a generic freeze frame with no um, glow effect. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on the clip right here and you want to hold down option and you're basically just creating a duplicate of this clip right here. Now you could without a doubt use just a copy and paste and copy and paste the clip but as you can see right here this bottom clip is a complete duplicate of the top clip um, right here. So what you want to do is you want to click on the bottom clip not on the top clip on the bottom clip right here. What you want to do is you want to head over here to color right here add a color board right here you want to go to exposure right here bring up the exposure go to the saturation bring up the saturation go to the color right here and then change the master um, to whatever color you want now you want to go down to the effects panel right here and you want to click on blur right here and you want to take a focus blur and you want to apply the focus blur to the bottom clip right there and there you go you have already created the glow effect right here Let's go to the inspector window um, right here and we'll change the amount to 70% right here and we'll change the softness uh, to 900 right here. Obviously you could go ahead and change it um, to whatever look you want but I just encourage you to change the amount to 70 and the softness um, to 900 and voila you pretty much um, create this really cool glow effect. Now I want to show you what the effect actually looks like so you kind of get the concept and the idea of how this effect works. So let's go to the top clip right here. I'm going to go ahead and just disable the top clip. And this is what the bottom clip looks like right here. That's basically the glow outline effect. So this is what the bottom clip looks like right here. So let's go ahead and enable the top clip. And there you go. You have this really, really cool um, glow outline. Let's say you want to change the position um, right here. So let's say negative 200. You want to go to the glow outline right here and you also want to go to the position and type in negative 200 right there and that's basically it it's literally how you create a really cool um glow um effect right there it's basically just as simple as that right here all you want to do is you want to take the draw mask you want to basically create a copy of it right here I'll just type in glow right here so basically just have, have the draw mask right here you're gonna cut out the subject and then I do you can create a duplicate and the duplicate below it you want to go over here add a color board increase the exposure increase the saturation and then uh, change the color if you want if you want there to be a color or maybe you just want a white glow then obviously you wouldn't change the color go to the effects panel right here inspector window add a focus blur change the amount to 70 and then change the softness to 900 and voila you have completely created this really cool glow outline effect right there so i definitely think it's a really really cool um, effect and you may not want to use this for a freeze frame then you can just use this for a thumbnail you can actually create thumbnails in final cut um, in Final Cut Pro 10 and you can go ahead and just use the same technique you see people using in Photoshop you can actually just use it in Final Cut Pro 10 which I think is a really cool feature and a really cool effect maybe you don't have Photoshop and you just like Final Cut you can go ahead and literally like I said before create the Photoshop thumbnails in Final Cut Pro 10 definitely think it's a really cool effect right there and that's how you create this really cool glow glow glowing outline effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So go ahead, give it a try. 
um, and see if you also like this effect. The especially the glow outline is really cool for freeze frames because it definitely creates a more seamless transition and not so much like a harsh um, jump cut. Of course, it's all personal um, opinion. I like it, and hopefully, you also like this really glow outline effect. And if you didn't know how to create it, now you know how to create this really cool glow outline. And you can use this effect for multiple in multiple different ways and multiple different videos. Anyways, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 170 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.